weil Marc steht, dann kriegst du eh keinen besten drin. Ne? Ja. Und die aktuelle Kamera, die kann ich auch in schwarz-weiß sehen. Mal sehen, was du denn mit der aktuellen Kamera? It's 20 years since the fall of the Berlin Wall and the end of the Cold War. And it's sometimes hard to remember what the world was like back then, when it was split into two hostile factions of the Cold War. The city of Berlin was the most dramatic manifestation of this global division, and it's also the setting of Wings of Desire, Wim Wenders dreamy and poetic 1987 film, a gorgeous visual time capsule. It's the story of an angel, played by Bruno Ganz, who falls in love with a trapeze artist and decides that he wants to turn in his wings and become human. Now the angels in this film look to the audience just like everybody else in it. But they're not visible to the other people in Berlin and their job is to be a kind of hidden witness, to listen to the inmost desires and thoughts of this lonely population. It's me, it's me, it's me. Ich möchte eigentlich gar nicht mehr denken. Ich gehe. Warum eigentlich? Nein! This contact, or lack thereof, enables vendors to create an atmosphere of intimacy and solitude. He's helped by some lovely performances and also by a surprise appearance by Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. By a script written by the Austrian novelist Peter Hanke, which is full of passages of lyric poetry, and by Henri Alacan's camera, which floats over the city, giving an angel's eye black and white view of its beautiful landscape. Among the curious characters who Bruno Ganz's angel finds is Peter Falk, playing Peter Falk, who turns out to be a former angel, a fallen angel himself, and who gives our hero some advice on how to make the transition from eternity to humanity. How long? Minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, time. This is one of the movie's central preoccupations, time. In Wings of Desire, Berlin is a city deeply scarred by its past, but also kind of an island that time forgot, a place where history came to a stop. But history returned to Berlin in a big way in 1989, two years after this film was released. The wall came down, and a division that had seemed so permanent, so intractable, was swept away in an instant. Now, Wings of Desire does not make any specific predictions or prophecies. It doesn't foresee the reunification of Germany or the end of the Cold War. But somehow this film, which is so haunted by the past, so nostalgic for its own present, offers a glimpse of a dream of the future. Wir sind jetzt die Zeit. Nicht nur die ganze Stadt, die ganze Welt nimmt gerade Teil an unserer Entscheidung. Wir zwei sind jetzt mehr als nur zwei. Wir verkörpern etwas. Wir sitzen auf dem Platz des Volkes. Und der ganze Platz ist voll von Leuten, die sich dasselbe wünschen wie wir. Wir bestimmen das Spiel für alle. Ich bin bereit. 